Advanced Cardiac Life Support or ACLS is a set of protocols designed to provide guidelines for the treatment of cardiac arrest and other life-threatening medical emergencies. It consists of a series of algorithms which are used to help medical personnel quickly assess the patient's condition, determine the best course of action, and treat them quickly and effectively. One such algorithm is the Pulseless Arrest Algorithm, which is used in cases where a patient has experienced cardiac arrest or near-arrest conditions. The Pulseless Arrest Algorithm was developed by the American Heart Association as part of their 2010 Guidelines for Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation and Emergency Cardiovascular Care. This algorithm outlines specific steps that must be taken when treating patients who have suffered from pulseless arrest or near-arrest conditions such as ventricular fibrillation or VF, pulseless ventricular tachycardia or VT, asystole, and bradyasystole. The steps outlined by this algorithm include, number 1. Confirm whether or not pulselessness exists by checking for signs such as absent pulse or abnormal breathing patterns. Next, initiate chest compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Now, administer IV medications according to AHA guidelines. Next step is to perform manual defibrillation if indicated. Number 5. Continue CPR with pauses for rhythm checks every 2 minutes until return of spontaneous circulation or ROSC is achieved or advanced airway management has been established. Spontaneously monitor vital signs every 5 to 10 minutes until ROSC is achieved. Lastly, provide post-resuscitation care according to AHA guidelines once ROSC has been established, and follow up with appropriate specialists, depending on the cause or suspected cause of the pulseless arrest or near-arrest condition. By following these steps carefully, medical personnel can provide quick and effective treatment for patients who suffer from cardiopulmonary arrests due to VF or VT, bradyasystole, PEA, or pulseless electrical activity, etc., increasing their chances for survival greatly. In this video, we will discuss each of the steps involved in pulseless arrest algorithm, including the importance of high-quality CPR, the use of advanced airway management, defibrillation, and medication administration along with post-resuscitation protocols to follow. Let's start with Step 1, Recognition and Response. The first step in the pulseless arrest algorithm is the recognition and response to a cardiac arrest. In this step, we need to identify the signs of cardiac arrest, such as unresponsiveness, absence of breathing, and absence of a pulse. Once the cardiac arrest has been identified, it is crucial to initiate the emergency response system and call for help immediately. Step 2, High-Quality CPR The second step is high-quality CPR. CPR is the cornerstone of ACLS, and it involves providing chest compressions and ventilations to maintain blood flow and oxygenation to the vital organs. The American Heart Association recommends a compression rate of at least 100 to 120 per minute and a depth of at least 2 inches. It is also essential to avoid interruptions in chest compressions, minimize ventilation time, and ensure proper chest recoil. Next, Step 3, Medication Administration. Medications, such as epinephrine, vasopressin, and amiodarone, may be administered to help restore circulation and maintain cardiac rhythm. The timing and dosages of these medications should be based on the patient's specific condition and should not interrupt high-quality CPR. Next, Step 4, Defibrillation. The fourth step is defibrillation. Defibrillation is the administration of an electric shock to the heart to restore normal cardiac rhythm. It is important to note that defibrillation should be performed as soon as possible and not delayed for medication administration or advanced airway management. Step 5. Advanced Airway Management The fifth step in this algorithm is advanced airway management. In some cases, advanced airway management, such as endotracheal intubation or supraglottic airway placement, may be necessary to maintain oxygenation and ventilation during CPR. The use of advanced airway management should be performed by trained healthcare providers and should not interrupt high-quality CPR. Next step in pulseless arrest algorithm is ROSC. ROSC stands for Return of Spontaneous Circulation. 
It is the return of a pulse and blood pressure after CPR has been performed on a patient who had experienced cardiac arrest. CPR is a life-saving technique that is performed when someone's heart has stopped beating, and ROSC is a critical step in the resuscitation process. And the final step in this algorithm is post-resuscitation care. After achieving ROSC, or after a successful CPR, the healthcare team will continue to monitor the patient closely. The patient may be sedated to prevent them from becoming agitated, which can increase their oxygen demand and put additional stress on their heart. The healthcare team will also perform various tests and procedures to determine the cause of the cardiac arrest and to develop an appropriate treatment plan. These are the steps involved in pulseless arrest algorithm or cardiac arrest algorithm. In the next video in this course, we will discuss the cardiac arrest algorithm 2015 update and cardiac arrest circular algorithm with live simulation. So if you haven't joined our course yet, please subscribe and join the course on basic life support skills and ACLS certificate programs now. Thank you.